no tailgate party would be complete without hamburgers. We Americans tend to think that we invented the hamburger, but in fact, this ground meat patty takes its name from the city of Hamburg, Germany. For our international tailgate show, I wanted burgers from three different parts of the world. We have an American inside out cheeseburger, a Greek style ground lamb burger, and we have a Thai style ground veal burger with Thai seasoning. Edible proof that grilled ground meat is a great idea no matter where you live on Planet Barbecue. Up first, the Greek lamb burger. Start with two pounds of ground lamb. Add half a finely chopped onion, chopped fresh mint, dried oregano, ground cumin, hot pepper flakes, coarse sea salt, and freshly ground black pepper. Wet your hands to keep the meat from sticking to them and mix the ingredients with your fingers. Don't be afraid to dive in with your hands. You get a better mix with your fingers than with any utensil. Now wet your fingers again and take about a quarter of the meat and mold it into a large patty. And there's your Greek lamb burger. Now before I make the next burger, I'll wash my hands. I'm gonna wash my hands between each burger so I don't cross-contaminate the meats. Food safety is paramount here on the set of Project Smoke. Now the Thai veal burger. Lean, mild, and sweet veal makes a terrific burger. Add finely chopped scallion, chopped fresh cilantro, ground coriander, ground cumin, and here's a traditional Thai ingredient I really love. It's called kaffir lime leaf, and it has a kind of perfumed limey flavor. You slice it paper thin, then finely chopped chili, I'm using Scotch bonnet, minced fresh ginger, minced fresh garlic, and another traditional Thai ingredient, fish sauce, which is made from pickled anchovies. If unavailable, use soy sauce. Add a little salt and freshly ground black pepper. Once again, dip your hands in cold water and mix the veal burger meat. This time, I'm going to form small burgers to make Thai veal sliders. And there are your Thai veal burgers. And now the inside out cheeseburger. To the ground beef, add grated cheddar cheese, finely chopped scallion, coarse sea salt, and freshly ground black pepper. And again, wet your hands and mix the ingredients with your fingers. I invented the inside out cheeseburger to solve a simple problem. How do you cook a burger to a food safe 160 degrees without drying it out? You put the cheese on the inside. As the burgers grill, the cheese melts, keeping the burgers moist even at medium well. And form a patty. And here's your inside out cheeseburger. To grill all these burgers, I'm using the biggest Komodo Kamado cooker of all. I loaded it with charcoal, and I'll start by cleaning the grate with a stiff wire brush, and oiling the grate with our grill oiler, a rolled cotton cloth, dipped in vegetable oil, and drawn across the bars of the grate. I find that brushing the burgers with oil right before you put them on prevents any possible sticking. First, put the Greek lamb burgers on.
Then put on the spicy Thai veal burgers. Finally, put on the inside out cheeseburgers. Cooking time, three to five minutes per side. You want an interior temperature of at least 160 degrees. Once the burgers are browned on the bottoms, turn them over with tongs or a spatula. The burgers look cooked, but it's always good to check the internal temperature. Insert the meat thermometer through the side, and you're looking for 160 degrees. We've got it. Here are your burgers. Let me show you how to put them together. So for the Greek burger, we're using a piece of toasted pita bread. Fill it with Greek yogurt sauce. The recipe's on our website. Then add a lettuce leaf. Then the Greek lamb burger. A slice of tomato. A couple of slices of cucumber. That's burger number one. For the Thai veal burgers, I have Hawaiian rolls, which have been grilled. First, Thai peanut sauce. Then the veal burger. Then a little carrot, cucumber, and cilantro. And place the bun on top. You need two hands to eat that one. And I'll do another one for you. These are so big, you need a toothpick to hold them together. And finally, our inside out cheeseburger. So start with homemade ketchup. The recipe's on our website. Then a lettuce leaf, an inside out cheeseburger, tomato, slice of onion, a couple of pickle slices, and there's your inside out cheeseburger. Let's see how we did. First, the Greek lamb burger. Hmm. I love the full rich flavor of lamb. Human, the onion, the yogurt sauce. Really nice, really different. And now the spicy Thai veal burger. Take out the toothpick. Mmm. This is incredibly aromatic with the ginger, fish sauce, and kaffir lime leaf. And last, but certainly not least, that inside out cheeseburger. Mmm. So moist, so rich. And I love that homemade ketchup. But this is too good to eat by myself. Come on in, guys. All right, I think we got some assembly to do here. Yeah, here, I'll mm. make some lamb burgers. All right. Chris, set me up. All right. All right, you want some sauce?